Hey friends, we all know that uh, temperature affects the insulation resistance. If the temperature is higher, the insulation resistance will reduce. So, while you are doing the maintenance testing, you have to keep the record of uh, all the tests performed uh, over a period of time and you have to check the healthiness of insulation, whether it's uh, improving or it's decreasing. And uh, but if you are taking the measurement at different temperatures, then obviously you cannot compare it. So the method uh, of doing this for uh, this testing is that you have to multiply uh, and make uh, to find out equivalent. For example, you are testing a, a mega insulation at 40 degrees centigrade, and next year you are doing a 30 degrees centigrade, and third year doing a 20 degrees centigrade. All three are different, so you can't compare it. So the principle what we are doing is that we are uh, converting the resistance at equivalent 20 degree centigrade for example we can uh, select as a base value and we can uh, then we can compare so uh, all the manufacturers are providing the uh, coefficient temperature coefficient and corrosion factor by which you can find out the real resistance so here is uh, for, uh, for testing armature and field winding insulation resistance of various temperatures the IEEE recommend the following insulation resistance formula. So this formula is Rm is equal to Kt into Kv plus 1. So table insulation equation for AC and DC rotating machines. So this is just an example I have shown you from IEEE. They are recommending this formula. Or here you can see this is the winding temperature. Uh, there is a curve. So if temperature is uh, from increasing from minus 10, for example, then this insulation resistance temperature coefficient is also increasing so you can get this curves from manufacturer uh, of specific uh, item and then you can calculate equal temperature so thank you very much for this small topic